While he may not have a full house size family in real life, John Stamos aka Uncle Jesse upgraded to a spacious estate in the coveted Hidden Hills in 2019. He, his wife Caitlin McHugh and their son Billy currently still live here. Prior to this, John owned a gorgeous bachelor pad turned family villa in the Beverly Hills post office, which last time I checked he was still trying to sell. Today we'll check out the spots Uncle Jesse has called home in real life, both past and present. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, Please, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. John Stamos is an actor, producer, musician, comedian, and singer who is best known for his work in TV, especially his starring role as Jesse Katsopoulos or Uncle Jesse on the ABC sitcom Full House. I mean, who didn't love Uncle Jesse? John first gained recognition for his role as Blackie Parrish on General Hospital, for which he was nominated for a Daytime Emmy Award, and then he moved on to Full House. After Full House concluded in 1995, Stamos has appeared in a handful of TV series and films. He had a starring role in the NBC medical drama from 2005 to 2009 where he played Dr. Tony Gates and then he played the role of Albert in the Broadway revival of Bye Bye Birdie with another Broadway role to follow. Of course, these aren't the only acting jobs that John has scored. I almost called him Jesse by the way. Sometimes I forget that that's not his real name. He's been an executive producer on the Netflix series Fuller House and then he also reprised the role of Uncle Jesse for this. Recently, We've seen him in another popular Netflix series too, when he served as Dr. Nikki in the psychological thriller show You. At the time of this recording, John has an estimated net worth of about $25 million, and he has used some of that to purchase a gorgeous family nest in the Hidden Hills to call home. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here in Famous Entertainment. We're noticing a bunch of you watching aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're checking out where Uncle Jesse, I mean John Stamos, calls home, including his current Hidden Hills estate and former villa style house. We've done a house tour on Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen in the past, which we'll link after, but if you'd like to see more of the full house cast and their real life homes, be sure to let me know. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. In 2020, it was reported that John was still trying to sell his home in the Los Angeles Beverly Hills post office neighborhood that he had on the market for a while. While I said earlier it could still be up for sale, it seems he finally sold it for $4.24 million after over a year on the market. He even previously gave Architectural Digest a tour of the home. The beautiful villa was in the ritzy mountains between Beverly Hills and Studio City, situated on a private nearly one acre parcel of land in the gated community. There was a 3,500 square foot main house and a guest house which John converted into a padded music room. He bought the home for $3.6 million over 15 years ago just after his divorce from his first wife Rebecca Roman. So basically this served as a Stamos bachelor pad for many years until his new wife and son came along and he made it into a family home. John's former home was entered through gigantic iron gates between towering pillars while a stone path takes you to the sun drenched courtyard garden and carved wood front doors. The vine covered Tuscan inspired villa offers four beds and 3.5 baths throughout. And I've got to say, the home is super charming. In his interview with Architectural Digest, John said the house has transformed with him over the decades and it was more him than any other home he's previously owned. He explained, I even got married on the property so it just represents a lot of changes throughout my life. It started out as a party house and then I straightened my act out and it became a healing house. And then all of a sudden, Caitlin came into my life and that was joyous and it took a turn there. Inside, the feel was classic yet rustic, decorated with earthy tones and reclaimed materials. There were dark hardwood floors and beamed and vaulted exposed ceilings in the spacious living room, while a stacked stone fireplace sat at one end of the room and sets of French doors open to the patio. The living room joins a long dining room which accommodates two separate eating areas and had a farmhouse style table ideal for entertaining. John is a romantic so his home was intimate and there were pictures and other personal items all over like framed letters from his late parents and more. On the other side of the main living living room, there was a piano from the 1940s that John bought in the 80s when he got his first home, and the side table here had a typewriter gifted to him from Tom Hanks. The kitchen, while it wasn't massive, was arranged ideally and decked out with expensive appliances. The reclaimed wood table here was lit with a skylight overhead, and there were black cabinets and a farmhouse sink as well. Looking at John's former home, you can see that the custom design combined both classic details and modern amenities. 
Moving on to John's former master suite, it was exotic and masculine with a custom Portuguese influenced bed. There was also a sitting area with fireplace, an updated vintage style bathroom with marble lined shower and classic clawfoot tub. His bedroom previously had a big thick shag rug but that didn't fly with his current wife. Photos show the one room detached guest house was used as John's music room and exercise space. It was basically his man cave and boasted blood red wallpaper and beige shag carpeting. He also trimmed this space with Disney memorabilia which he loves and said he used to have some pretty wild parties in here. Out back there was a large pool which John added a jacuzzi and water feature to when he moved in as well as a large covered terrace. There was an outdoor kitchen with built in grill and pizza oven which was also part of the couple's first date. While he's left this property behind I'm positive John brought his many memories from the home with him to the equestrian estate he now lives in Hidden Hills. Let's take a look. In 2019 John and his wife found their current family home and according According to property records, they shelled out $5.75 million for the place. The sellers were Swedish music producer Adam Anders and his singer wife Nikki Anders, who started off with the unrealistic asking price of nearly $7 million. The family sized estate is located in the guarded gates of the celeb packed Hidden Hills community on 1.5 acres of land. Some other residents in this exclusive neighborhood include Jessica Simpson, Jeffree Star, Drake, and some of the Kardashian Jenners, just to name a few. John and Caitlin have played plenty of room to roam and raise their young son in their current house as it spans 5,750 square feet inside. The Cape Cod inspired residence also offers a total of 6 beds and 5.5 baths between the main house and the guest house. The guest house was decked out as a state of the art recording studio by the previous owner so I wonder if this serves as John's new music room slash man cave. A circular drive leads up to the mostly single level estate and walking in the red front door you're greeted with the combo living and dining space with oak floorboards and a row of skylights along the vaulted and beamed ceiling. This whole space is open concept and double height making the room feel even larger. Nearby the gourmet kitchen is also topped with skylights and boasts a marble island with bar style seating and seems to offer more space to cook than John's previous kitchen. The kitchen opens to a casual dining area and cozy TV nook with two way fireplace. In fact listing materials see the home has multiple fireplaces and custom built ins throughout. John and Caitlin's master suite is spacious, also including an indoor and outdoor seating area, fireplace and walk-in closet. The master bathroom is spa-like with both wood and marble details. Elsewhere in the home there are other guest rooms and options for children's bedrooms too, even an office, children's learning room or playroom, and a room that looks like a small family lounge space. Outside, a giant terrace offers an outdoor fireplace and dining table with optional canvas sunshades. This overlooks the simple pool and spa and the tree lined grounds also boast a basketball court, small barn, children's playground and garden. I think all of that will make John's son Billy happy to grow up in this home. So now we've taken a look at the homes of John Stamos, also known as Uncle Jesse and I think we can wrap up this house tour here. We got an in depth look at his former bachelor pad turned family home in Beverly Hills that he sold and his current estate in the famous Hidden Hills neighborhood. Between these two properties, which was your favorite? What would you rate them? Honestly I find it hard to choose because while the current house is bigger, John's former house was just so charming inside and out. If he and his wife chose to decorate the current home like the last one, then maybe I would pick that. Altogether I rate both of John's houses a solid 9. They have it all. Be sure to tell me your thoughts down in the comments. I'm also trying to get to 1000 subs on my personal channel and I'm almost there so if you haven't subscribed please go do so. I'll link you my latest vlog. Leave me a comment there and we can be friends. <laughs> <laughs> How can I say no? It was basically a mammoth. Okay. It's oozing out, but. They don't hog it. Thanks for tuning in, and I'm still reading all of your comments and amazing suggestions, so keep them coming. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you guys want to see. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!